It's Lone Star Conference Media Day, and we are here at the Berg Center on the campus of Dallas Baptist University. I'm Brendan Smith with Patriots head coach Blake Flickner as DBU prepares for the 2021 season. And, and coach, this is a season preview, but it feels very appropriate to go back and to look quickly at last season. Your team had just advanced to the NCAA tournament for the third straight year. You're on the bus. You get the call that the season's canceled. You got to turn around. What has it been like for you since the end of 2020? It was so abrupt to where you stand right now as you turn the page pretty quickly and get ready for a 2021 season. It has been a wild ride. You know, we, we were on the bus on the way to the games, found out that that uh, season was canceled and lost, uh, uh, you know, a really special group of seniors from a, a, what was a really fun and special year. So that was disappointing. Uh, but it's been this whole summer throughout the spring and summer in the preseason we've already turned looking forward and, and really excited about what we have in the future and trying to press forward and with a, a group that we feel really excited about. There's six returners from last year's NCAA tournament team. I want to focus on two of those to begin, your seniors in Chandler Jacobs and Julian Miranda, and they have been staples in this program for over four years, especially in the case of Julian, the redshirt senior. Uh, what have those two in particular meant to this program and uh, how important is their leadership going to be throughout this year? Yeah, it's, it's hard to put into words how important their leadership is, and we've seen it already in the preseason. Those guys have really stepped up to another level uh, in the way that they're leading their teammates, the way that they're taking the young guys under their wing. Uh, obviously phenomenal players, both Julian and, and Chandler, uh, do a lot for our program and are really special, but they're also special humans. And uh, the way that they're mentoring the young guys uh, has been really fun to see, and, and, and it's exciting to watch them mature. What about the, the rest of your returners? You've got, uh, you know, Brock Weisenbaker is going to be in his sophomore year. He played in 15 games. You have returning size in 6'10 and William Heather. You have the, the leadership and the veteran players in uh, Carson Hughes and Jalen White. What does that group do for you here in this season? Yeah, they bring a lot of experience. You know, Carson and Jalen are third-year guys, and they have they've shown really uh, big leaps and improvement this year. They're playing at a high level right now. Um, Will's made improvements. We really feel good about where he's at. Feel like he's made some strides and is continuing to get better. Uh, so those guys are, are battle tested. They've played a lot of minutes and important games, and, and they're they're bringing a lot of experience with them back uh, for this team as well. Well, it's a 50-50 split in terms of returners and newcomers. So let's talk about those newcomers. Uh, five true freshmen. Uh, also have a red shirt freshman. Tell us about this new crop and what excites you about uh, the incoming talent. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of talent there. That group is really special. They're really tight. They get along well together. They're, they're, uh, they've got a really special chemistry, and uh, they have the potential uh, to be a, one of the most special classes we've ever had at DBU. They've got just an incredible amount of balance and talent, the way they complement each other. Uh, we felt like we got a, a, a really special group um, with the character that they bring, but also with the basketball talent that they have. And, um, I'm excited for our fans to get to see them play. I, I think that that young group is, is going to be exciting for the next four or five years down the road. Well, obviously it's 2020, so the schedule is going to be unique, to say the least. Uh, let's, let's go through the challenges that that's going to uh, present you. It's conference-only opponents. Mm -hmm. Several times you're going to have to play back-to-backs or two games in three nights. What type of challenges is that going to present for, for you as a coaching staff and for as a team as you go through this year? Yeah. Yeah, so you mentioned the back-to-back. That's one of the new things that we're anticipating doing a lot more of this year. We're going to do more of a bubble format to limit our contacts and limit the exposures. Um, the challenge for that, playing Friday and Saturday back-to-back -back nights, is going to be just the challenge of, you know, how's your health? How's your depth? Who can get healthy and, and bounce back after a, a night game on Friday night to be ready to play on Saturday? Uh, you know, some teams will have more depth or, or, or guys that are healthier that may respond better to that. So you're going to have to manage your bodies really well. Uh, that's going to be a big key. Um, you know, we're going to have to uh, do what we can to, to try and have quick turnarounds because it's going to require a lot of toughness on those Saturday uh, game days. Um, so that's going to be a unique challenge, but it's like a tournament format. It's like, it's like being in the NCAA tournament or the conference tournament where you've got to play back-to-back -back days. So in that sense, it prepares you for some things that you may see uh, in the postseason. Um, playing a conference-only schedule is going to be unique. We have the toughest, deepest conference in the country. I really believe that. And so every night, uh, you've just got an incredible test and an incredible challenge against a lot of really, really good teams and then having to figure out how does – how does our league stack up against other leagues? You know, how does, even if we play an unbalanced schedule, you know, with even within our conference, it doesn't look like we're going to play everybody uh, the same number of games or even play everybody. Um, and so that's going to be 
a, a unique challenge just from the competitive equity of determining, you know, seeding going into the conference tournament and who's the champion and who's not when you haven't played the same team. So uh, that's going to be a unique challenge, but this is what we embrace. We're excited to play somebody, and we can't wait to get going. Well, you've hit on a lot of it there, but as you consider the challenges, the unique nature, we've heard it a million times, the unprecedented times that we're in, what excites you the most about 2021 as you go for another conference championship and you look to get back to the NCAA tournament? Yeah, we, we talk every day about how can we get better today? How can we use this gift of, of today to improve, um, focus on the process? And 2020 has forced us to do that even more than normal. You know, the Bible says that you don't know what's going to happen, you know, next week, much, uh, much less a year from now. And 2020 has really brought that to the forefront of our minds. And so we've got to focus on how can we improve what can we get better at today and enjoying the journey all along the way, not just focusing on the, the destination at the end. And so uh, in that sense, 2020 causes us to do what we always want to do, and, um, but it forces us to do it in an even more uh, direct way. And so um, it is, it is going to bring some unique challenges, but it's also a unique opportunity. Some teams are going to handle it better than others, uh, and we want to try and be a mentally tough team that, that responds well to the adversity. That's Patriots head coach Blake Flickner as the Patriots prepare, prepare for 2021 and look to build after a third consecutive trip to the NCAA tournament.